All right, so from the study guide, this one, it says um, triangle XYZ is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin to form triangle JKL. Um, remember that a rotation means that everything stays congruent. Um, the angles and the side lengths do not change. So um, that being said, this one's saying which angle must measure the same as angle Z. Well, remember the way that we um, name these, the order does matter. So X, Y, Z, X corresponds to J, Y corresponds to K, that means Z corresponds to L. Um, so which one must measure the same as Z? That would be angle L. Okay. The next question I would like for you to find is this one. Okay, it talks about triangle PQR and it has us re reflecting across the x-axis and then translating three to the right. Okay, once you find it, go ahead and see if you can solve it. Okay, so remember that whenever we reflect something across the x-axis, we take x and y, we keep x the same, and we just change the y's sign. Um, then when we move three units to the right, we're going to take x and we are going to add three. So you could just do this rule in in one step by taking the x value and adding three and then taking the y value and changing its sign. Um, so if you find point P here, uh, point P is negative two, negative four, add three to negative two, that's gonna be one, and then change the sign of negative four to positive four, so our new ordered pair is one, four for P. So check your answer choices, and that's going to be answer choice A. Okay. Go ahead and find this problem. You're just supposed to um, check each interval and see which one is true. So this one says it's decreasing between where x is negative 3 and x is 1. x is negative 3 here, okay, so it starts here on the graph. And to go to positive 1, it is just decreasing. So answer choice A is true. and find this problem. Okay, make sure it's the one that says it was reflected across the y-axis. 
Okay, so they are asking us about an angle measure. If we do a reflection, do reflections change any of these sizes or the angles? Okay, reflections, everything stays preserved. Everything's congruent. Um, so if we are talking about um, polygon U, V, W, X, Y, then whenever we reflect it, those corresponding angles are still the same. So what is angle Y? 136, so what is the angle of Y prime? It's also 136. Okay, so there are 25 questions on the study guide. Go ahead and try the rest on your own. Let me know if you have any questions.